Hey guys, and welcome to the Buy View. Hopefully, guys, are all doing well. Now, we're going to be talking about Serge Gnabry again in, in today's video. Now, I think one thing that needs to be said before I even read what is being put out there uh, and all of this, I know that some people don't like Serge Gnabry, some people want to sell Serge Gnabry, some people love Serge Gnabry, and all of that. At the end of the day, as long as you're not being negative, um, uh, not negative, as long as you're not being like abusive or anything like that, you're absolutely fine to have your opinion, in my personal, in my view. Uh, and that's the whole point of the channel is to give other people people opinions with that said though um i really really hope that the goal at the weekend can push him on now for the rest of the games um and you know because at the end of the day he did just sign a brand new deal uh if you guys want to enjoy though please do smash the thumbs up button hit the big red subscribe button down below thank you for the constant support on the channel check out if you haven't already the video that we did on kolomiani a couple of hours ago and check out um the buy view plus the um by the time this comes out actually there'll be another video on that channel uh so there'll be two videos on that channel uh but cosmic coman check it out um you know i know that fifa isn't normally my thing but you know there's a new card on fifa uh, and i thought you know what i'm gonna do a series around this and that's what we're doing the um team of the season kingsley coman with that said though let's actually get into this video um uh, but yeah make sure to check those out um so yeah for me, I think he is brilliant. Um, he is brilliant. Um, his stats say he is brilliant. But I also understand that, yes, he does score a hat-trick and then go missing for a couple of games. And then a hat-trick and go, you know what I mean? Or or two good goals. And there's just no consistency there. And I get that 110%. I really, really do understand that. Um, so this is what is coming out. Uh, so it says, although Bayern Munich uh, would be willing uh, to listen to offers for Serge Gnabry, the player is not uh, determined to leave. Gnabry feels comfortable at the club and in Munich. Uh, in the city he's very popular within the team uh, and he has uh, a best friend and important advocate in Joshua Kimmich now um, I'm going to break this down don't get it twisted it says Thomas Tuchel also appreciates Nabry and um, despite his poor form um, in recent weeks continues to trust him in addition with him being a big um, a big contract it's unlikely that any club would be willing to match with the salary he currently earns at Bayern Munich um, so he'd have to take a pay cut if he was to leave now that that's what's being put out there um, and yeah let's just break it down so uh, although the Bayern Munich will be willing to sell Nabry um, he doesn't want to leave. Why would you want to leave? You just signed a brand new deal. You know, unless you're an absolute pleb, which I don't think he is, and you're an idiot, you know, uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he's that sort of player. He's not, this isn't going to be his last ever contract. It's not, you know what I mean? He's still he's still super young, uh, you know, as a man. Maybe not as a footballer, but he's getting on there in a as a footballer. But, you know, he he's absolutely brilliant on his day and i hate that saying i really really do hate that saying you know on his day on his day but like generally he is a good player um you know and why would you want to leave you don't sign that deal to then be like oh i'm playing really i'm playing i'm playing really poor oh, i'm gonna leave now it, it's not how it works um Nabry feels comfortable at the club that's good uh, and in the city again you don't sign a deal you know he it's not like he's um he is German, but it's not like he's just been in German teams the whole of his life. Remember, my, my man was going all over the, uh, the UK um, when he was at Arsenal. So, you know what I mean? If he's comfortable here, then he's comfortable here. Does he have to perform, though, um, you know, to up the standards and get the trust of other fans that don't necessarily want him unless they're haters? 100%. He does need to be more consistent, 100%. Um, he's popular within the team. That's fine. I don't like this next bit, though. Um, and he has a best friend, uh, an important advocate in Joshua Kimmich now at the end of the day Joshua Kimmich has to stay no matter what uh, Joshua Kimmich is absolutely outstanding I don't want him to ever 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 leave touch wood all of that fingers crossed everything but in saying that just because your best friend is one of our best players and the player that we don't want to leave doesn't give you the right to stay um, and don't get it twisted, I'm on Team Nabry, I like Nabry, I think Nabry's brilliant, actually I'm on Team Bayern, but you know what I mean, I think he's brilliant, I think he's absolutely fantastic at times, does he need to be more consistent though, yes, but I don't like that, you know, his best friend's one of the best things, so he's going to stay, no, if he is willing to go, and wants to go, and all of this, which it obviously it doesn't seem like he is, then he needs to go, simple as that, you know what I mean, um, 
Uh, Thomas Tuchel is also also appreciates Nabry, uh, and despite his poor form, he still continues to trust him. That's the same with Leroy, though, isn't it? You know, Leroy's not been performing, and he still trusts him. Uh, you you guys know my my view on Tuchel, so I'm not going to say anything about that. Uh, despite his poor form, blah blah blah, blah continues to trust him. In addition, uh, with him being a big um, yeah, and again, you know, him being on the salary that he is, he would have to take a pay cut uh, unless he goes to one of the big teams like PSG. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below uh, on this news. Are you happy? I know a lot of you guys won't be. I know obviously I did a, a poll not so long ago and a lot of you guys want to sell him. And, you know, I understand. I 100% understand it. Does, again, I've said it about a thousand times in this video. Does he need to be more consistent with it? A hundred and ten percent. But I am going to play devil's advocate here. Uh, and I am going to um, say one thing about him. He needs to play as a right mid. You can't keep playing him as a centre forward. Yes, Jupo's out. Yes, you don't trust Matty's tail, blah, blah, blah. But you cannot go and do that and then expect Nabry to put in a 10 out of 10 performance every single time. He is not a centre forward. Can he play there? Maybe. Um, but for me, not necessarily. I, I would love him as that right-hand that right -hand side. And, you know, that's where he got the goal and an everything. And I know that um, some people are saying that he could be a support striker. I don't know. I don't know if he can, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so, yeah, that's just my personal view. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you for the constant support. Remember, remember, remember... Um, Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content. And if you want to see extra content, go over to the Bind View Plus. We've got a FIFA video out and then um, there'll be another video out for you guys also. So, yeah, thank you for the constant support, though, either way. And um, big up to all of you guys. Until then, Mia Samia, peace out.